in the home gym today. Today I'm gonna do bench and arms. Just got back from Florida and it's warm enough out now I can finally use my garage gym and it's not freezing. So let's hop into it. Already got warmed up, did some push-ups and some stretching, nothing too fantastic or unconventional, nothing like that. So that stuff's pretty boring. I think I have the bench set where I want it, so I haven't actually put the bar up yet. So I guess my warm-up's not completely over. But as far as boring shit it's over so let me make sure I have this bench placed in the right spot and we'll get started like I said it's been been a minute since I've been able to uh, lift in the home gym last time I filmed in here was the last time I was able to it's been freezing outside so when it's freezing outside it's freezing in here and the bar gets so cold that you can barely stand to hold on to it and I'm not wearing winter gloves when I lift so Let's get started here. So it's hard to believe when I graduated high school, I weighed 185 when I graduated. So that was almost, almost now 20 years. Yeah, tw next year is going to be my 20 year um, high school graduation anniversary or whatever the hell you call it, or reunion or whatever. But uh, hell, that was 60 pounds ago or 80 pounds ago. So right around the 265 mark right now, 267, 265, 268. It goes back and forth day to day, but um, that's about where I'm at right now. So yeah, 80 pounds ago, 80 pounds in 20 years, so four pounds a year. I don't know. Hopefully most of it's good weight, but I know it's not. Let's put this bad boy up. So that's me picking up my high school self eight times. Not bad. All right, 225. I know those plates look different, but they're 45. They're from your local sporting goods store type. I know they look different, but they're 45, I promise.
did not have myself placed forward enough on the way down. I thought I was gonna hit these hooks here. So I was a little awkward on the way down on a couple of them, but feels pretty good. My, fe my chest is feeling pretty good and stretched out. feeling super heavy today I'm going to uh, probably stick with this and do one by one for a few more sets and I love this squat rack took a lot of trial and error to figure out which one I wanted Hell, this is the fourth one I've had in here but the only thing I don't care for is on the inside of the hooks there's this rubber right here to help grip so if I place this back on unevenly after a set add this much weight on there instead of just being able to scoot it into place I got to I got to uh, lift it then move it then put it back down so if there was a way to take that rubber stuff out of there I would but there's rivets and stuff on it to where even if I take it off those are gonna be in the way so I don't know maybe I'll figure it out but like I said one by one to finish these off I'll probably do Three more, four more maybe. I don't know. My chest is feeling really good. I still have to do incline after this. So let's hit the ones. Those 275s didn't feel too bad. Like I said, one by one, so my chest still feels really good. So I'm gonna go down to 225 now. And I think that'll be my last for flat bench, just do 225. And uh, I'm not gonna go to failure, but I'm gonna get a good set in before I go to incline. Moving on to incline. I'm not really sure what my goal on this is today, but 
I'll probably just do like three sets to start with 135 and see where it goes. Um, flat bench was feeling pretty good, but I wasn't, you know, that 275 was feeling pretty heavy. So we'll see on this today. I'm just glad to be able to be doing it here in the garage today. So even if I just keep it here and just do three sets to failure or something, I'll just feel good about it. But I'll up the weight on it as I go. I'm probably just going to make this a fast video edit here and then we'll move on to arms after that. That's it for incline. Let's head to arms now. 225 ain't bad for incline. I honestly don't know if I've ever done more than that, but that feels pretty good. So got a good chest pump. Let's do arms now. So for triceps, pick up my tripod here and show you guys. I have this loading pin set up with this single pulley and rope pull down right here. It was like 40 bucks on Amazon, but it's so simple and, you know, it's so simple and it's kind of makes you keep control of the cable rather than me being able to sling that rope around and have that weight flying around all over the place. I know exactly what's loaded on there and I have to control it on the way down control it on the way up so that weight doesn't start swaying so I enjoy using this a lot it's probably my favorite thing about this squat rack I just bolted it up at the top right there um, like I said trial and error for this squat rack I finally found one I liked but one of my old ones had this big pulley system on the back you loaded plates on both sides it was like three pulleys on the bottom two on top or something like that and it was just way too complicated so in this case, I believe simpler is better. So right now I have 85 pounds on there. That one single pulley, you know, hey, I'm pulling 85 pounds. So let's hit uh, ropes here and then I'll do some push downs with the flat bar and then we'll hit biceps. Take a 10 off there, super easy. Now it's down to 75. That one felt pretty good. I just don't think I got as many reps as I should have on that. Last one of these. All right, I'm 
I'm gonna do some push downs with this flat bar. I'm gonna keep 75 on here for right now. And then next set, I'll probably go up depending on how this feels. Usually I go up on the push downs. Just a little bit more resistance. Feels really good on the tries. I'll probably do two or three sets of this. If you notice, I try to alternate which foot I step in on. I don't know why. I don't think it matters. Maybe it matters. I don't know. I'm just kind of paranoid that it would matter. So one set I'll step in with my right. Other other set I'll step in with my left. I said I don't know that it matters. I really hope that it's just bro science in my head and I'm just paranoid, but if it makes me feel better about it, it makes me feel better about it, I guess. Tip for those, let's hit the biceps now. Triceps are feeling pretty tight. All right, gonna finish up with biceps. I'm just doing two variations of curls here. I'm gonna use uh, 40, 40 pound dumbbells for standing curls. Um, these are just adjustables. I don't have, you know, 35, 45. I just have 10 pound increments. So 40 should be pretty good and then um, I just put 10 on each end of uh, the barbell here, so it'll be 65 pounds would be for burnout after, I could say burnout, I don't know, I just, if you want to call it superset or um, alternate, I don't, I don't know, like I said, I'm no damn expert. Also, I'm no expert on these angles either, so I'm trying to get the weights in the picture and the movements, so I don't know. You may have been able to tell from some of my other lifting videos so far that uh, angles are not my strong suit at this uh, lifting stuff. So I'm learning as I go, just like any other person that starts something new. So we'll work on the angles as we go. You'll probably get a lot of butt and gut and a lot of this stuff, but um, it is what it is. At least, you know, the workouts are documented and you can see where I'm at. So like I said, 40 pounds here. And then 65 there, um, I really don't have a rep range of what I wanna hit on that. I just wanna get a damn good pump from it. So I'll probably do three sets of this and then I will be done. So let's get started on it.
last set here. There it is. I don't know what number of vlog this is, but it'll be labeled bench and arms. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good about it. Still got a good pump in my triceps. My biceps are feeling good. Wife's getting ready to be home probably about 20 minutes. So she probably won't be very impressed with my pump. She never is. Anybody else? Do that at home. You go home, you flex on your wife, say, hey, look at this pump. And then she'll take her finger and, yeah, babe, that's great. I don't know. It takes wind out of your sails a little bit. So I'm gonna have to flex on her again when she gets home and show her my pump and get a little bit of encouragement out of her anyway. So we're gonna go to dinner when she gets home. I'm ready to eat. I'm gonna go get some fish from this diner that my buddy Tom was talking about at work. So that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one.